Okay, guys, so we'll start again. Uh, I hope you've got a clear picture of uh, compensatory head posture. So we're moving on to what's complicated, you know, real complicated, superior oblique palsy. Now, before we start superior oblique palsy, I want you to know or understand a little bit of the anatomy of the superior oblique. So what is the anatomy of the superior oblique? So let's start with my smiley ball. So this is my right eye, okay, in the orbit. So if you attended my classes, you always know that I always take the example of the right eye. So this is going to be the right eye, okay. So the eyeball is located inside the orbit. Now the superior oblique starts from the apex, okay, from the apex, it comes down there. So it's on the, from the apex, it travels to the anterior medial aspect of the orbit. And in the anterior medial aspect of the orbit, there is a small hook. So as it comes down here, oh my God, okay. So it comes down here, there is a hook here, okay. There's a trochlea, it's like a hook. So it hooks around and goes behind, yes. So it comes all the way. I'm getting a little, that's a little difficult in the orientation, just a bit, okay. So I've got this muscle just coming all the way. Yes, all the way. Just a second, guys, okay. So it's come here and now it is hooking behind, hooking behind and going back, okay. So it's going, hooking behind and going back at an angle. So it goes behind and gets attached to the posterior aspect of the eyeball, to the posterior aspect of the eyeball. So I think this orientation doesn't really work now in the video because, okay. So now it's coming all the way here. It turns behind and goes to the posterior aspect of the eyeball. So if you see, the eyeball is like this, but my oblique is at an angle to the eyeball. How much angle? 51 degrees on the medial side. Yes, 51 degrees on the medial aspect. So the eyeball is like this and mine is 51 degrees medial to the eyeball. So that is exactly why the primary action of the superior oblique is in torsion because if it were going to pull like this, the eyeball is naturally going to rotate inside. Yes, the upper pole is going to rotate towards the nose, right? So that is the primary action of superior oblique. Now that's not going to play an important role when we come to the compensatory head posture. Now what is this compensatory head posture all about? So what is the main action of the muscle? Yes, when you come, when you talk about the eye movements, what is the main action of the muscle? Now, if you attended my classes, I've always told you the best action of the muscles. What is the best action of the muscle? When the eyeball is parallel to the muscle. When is the eyeball parallel to the muscle? So normally the eyeball is like this, the muscle is like this. So when the eyeball turns inward, it becomes parallel to the muscle. So that means my right eye has to adapt, or for that matter, my left eye too. So it has to adapt, then the eyeball is exactly parallel to the muscle. So now, when this muscle contracts, and remember, this muscle is posterior to the attachment, posterior in its attachment. So when this is going to contract, the eyeball will depress. So what is the best action of the muscle? It's going to depress an already adapted eye. So the eye is already moved inside. And then when this muscle contracts now, it's going to adapt. So what is the best action of the muscle? You check the muscle. So you ask the patient to adapt the eye. Yes, because apparently the medial rectus is normal. And now if the superior oblique is normal, I can depress. So the action of the muscle is in this direction. So the action or the lone action of the superior oblique or the best action of the superior oblique is depression of an adapted eye. Yes, so depression of an adapted eye. So if you've got this right, then we can move on to the next one. So the next step is we're talking about the compensatory head posture in case of superior oblique palsy. 
So superior oblique palsy, what's happening? The patient is not able to bring his eye to this position. Depression of an adducted eye isn't happening, is not happening, right? So let's imagine, say I have a, a TV which is in this position down here on my right side, okay? And let's say Kohli is batting and I want to, you know, very badly look at the match now. But I cannot move. I cannot get up from this place to move. And I have a right superior oblique palsy. But where is my TV? My TV is located down here on, you know, exactly where my right superior oblique has to act. Now, if I cannot see, if I cannot move this eye to see there, okay, my left eye is moving, so it has gone there. But I'm getting diplopia. But diplopia is disturbing. I see two balls. I see two coolies. It's not happening. Yes. And then, you know, they are panning on to Anushka Sharma. Again, I see two Anushka Sharmas. It's, you know, it's a little not, not very nice. So I would like to have one image. So what do I do? But I want to see uninterrupted this match going on. So what do I do? I have to see in this direction. What do I do? All that I have to do is tilt my head this way. So my eye is brought down to this location. And yes, I get to see the match. I get to see Kohli. I get to see Anushka Sharma. Good. So always the field of action of paralyzed muscle is where the head posture would be. Or we would be adopting a new posture to compensate for this loss. So to understand superior oblique palsy, all that you need to know is the lone action or the best action of the muscle, which is depression of an adapted eye. So in case of a right superior oblique palsy, this movement is not happening. So imagine my TV is here. I'm not able to see it here. So all that I have to do to see it here is just turn my or tilt my shoulder or sorry, I'm sorry, tilt my head to this side, which is I'm tilting my head towards the opposite shoulder. The palsy is in the right eye. The tilt is towards the left shoulder. So the tilt is towards the opposite shoulder okay so this is the simplest way i think i could explain superior oblique palsy i hope you understood this if you have any doubts just get back to me i'm happy to help yes thank you